Grab your fam and grab your hands because it's time for family art making. and for today's project I thought we could use our own hands as tools to make art. It's fall which means the leaves are changing colors and looking beautiful. Unless you live in Florida then everything's just still green. So I thought why not make our own beautiful changing fall leaves. But before we do that let's look at some of the beautiful amazing unique Honestly, a little bit silly trees that we have on campus at the Ringline. So today's project was inspired by some of the trees that you can find on our grounds here at the Ringling. We have over 66 acres of trees, plants, museums, theaters, gardens, all kinds of things. And there are over 2,350 trees within those 66 acres. Some are native to Florida and Sarasota, some are exotic, some are historical, some are culturally significant. But all of these trees and plants and acres to come together to make the Ringling a level two arboretum. And the mission of the arboretum is to provide an environment relating to trees that inspires, educates, and entertains our visitors. So I thought the best way to inspire, educate, and entertain you fam visitors is to tell you about some of my favorite trees that we have at the Ringling. So I've got some pictures here and I'm going to go through them. First up we have a banyan tree. We have 14 of these banyan trees on our property and that is the largest collection of banyan trees in Florida. How cool is that? I just love the way the trunks are all twisty, turvy, and there's things coming down. They're so much fun to walk around and look in and some of them even have some sculptures that you might notice sticking out of the branches. Something to look for. Next up we have a shaving brush tree. I love this little pink fella. If you look close at those pink plants growing off the tree they look like a little shaving brush and if you don't know what a shaving brush is I've included a picture of one at the bottom. Isn't that just the coolest thing how how plants in nature can look like something that we made. I just love it. This next tree has an extra silly name. It's called a sausage tree. Now, sausage doesn't grow on trees, but this fruit that grows from the tree sure does look like a sausage. Look at that close-up picture. You can find this silly sausage tree in front of the Katazan. So you should definitely take a look next time you're out there and then get a little bit hungry for breakfast for some reason. Hmm. Next up, we have the bunya pine. It's ginormously tall. I would tell you how tall, but that's bunya business. <laughs> and also, I really don't know how tall it is. <clears throat> and finally, we have my favorite. I've talked about it before in many of our art projects. It is the rainbow eucalyptus. If you hit at just the right time, when you see this tree, the bark turns beautiful shades of different colors from red to green to yellow to orange. And if you want to do an art project based off of this rainbow eucalyptus tree where you make your own rainbow art, check out the link in the description. I'll have a link to that YouTube video. So these are just a few of my favorite trees, um, but you can check out a bunch of different trees, pretty much almost all the trees we have on campus on this amazing website called Tree Keeper. And we have been hard at work trying to get all of our different trees up on this website. So if you're looking for a specific tree, maybe you really want to see this rainbow eucalyptus, so you could just type in rainbow eucalyptus and it'll show you pictures of the tree, facts about the tree, and where you can find it on our campus. So definitely head over to Tree Keeper and check out these trees. The materials for today's project are actually pretty simple. All you really need is some paper, some paint, maybe a paintbrush, and your own hand. First, you want to start off by painting your hand, the palm of your hand, your fingers. Try to get in all those crevices with whatever colors you want. I'm going for orange to make kind of a fall looking tree. Uh, we don't really get that many orange and yellow and red leaves in Florida, so 
I'm gonna use this opportunity to make my own. Then what you wanna do is flip that hand over and press it down into the paper. Press down each of your fingers. The center part is where a lot of my paint wouldn't go on. But press down, make sure you get it on there good, and then slowly peel it off. Be careful not to rip the paper when you pull your hand back too fast. If it doesn't look exactly like you want, maybe there's not enough paint on your hand, you can go in and fill it in with a little paintbrush, or you can always repaint your hand and place it right on top again. But once you've got that squared away, what you want to do next is grab, I'm using black, but you can use whatever color you want. Maybe you want to make a rainbow tree trunk, like, like the rainbow eucalyptus tree. But I'm using black, and I'm just going to go in and start by painting a trunk up the middle of the hand that leads all the way to the tip of my middle finger. Then I'm going to make some branches that kind of go in the spots around my hand. Just filling out the hand with different branches and then adding some little tiny branches and this could go on as much as you want to you can go and make even tinier little branches on those branches to make it look more realistic you could add little pink shaving brush plants if you wanted to i'm keeping mine pretty simple because i know that you all are going to get super creative with yours and that's essentially the whole project. You can make a bunch of these. You can paint a landscape, maybe using the fan video about forward, middle, and background and make a bunch of trees, make a forest. Whatever you want to do is up to you. I would love to see whatever you create. I know you have all kinds of fun, crazy ideas. And here are my finished fall trees made by my own hands. I would love to see if you make your own fall trees so you can send us a picture of you and your artwork at the Ringling Facebook page, the Family Programs Facebook page, or send us an email at education at ringling.org. And if you don't mind, let us know if we can share your photo because I know our other Ringling fans would love to see it. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you had a lot of fun making your own trees and getting a little bit messy. Uh, but I'll see you next week at the same time in the same place. 